to NURFM.com, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. And we're talking today about fish oil and prostate cancer, Professor Tim. That's it, Dave. I thought we should have a look at this because a study came out where the researchers measured levels of uh, omega-3 fatty acids. They are the fatty acids found in fish oil predominantly. The omega-3 fatty acids in uh, a group of men in a study and compared those who... uh, went on to get prostate cancer to those who didn't. And what they showed was that if they looked at the level of these fatty acids in the blood, there was a 44% increase in risk of uh, cancer. That doesn't mean 44% of the people are going to uh, to get a prostate cancer. All it means is that there was a 44% increase in the risk uh, associated with uh, high levels of the omega omega-3 in the blood. But this particular study wasn't a study of testing uh, a group where they were fed the uh, fatty acids from the fish, the fish oils, uh, with another group that that weren't fed it. This was just uh, a measure of what was in the blood. So it was a correlation. And the, the point to remember, I think, that a correlation is not the same as a causation. So just because you find this associated increase in risk doesn't mean that that particular factor is the one that causes the cancer. So that's uh, the, the point I wanted to make in uh, my session today was that uh, the headlines really aren't backed up by what's in uh, the paper itself as well. The headlines aren't backed up by a whole lot of other papers. So we know that uh, the omega-3 fatty acids, which are rich in fish oil, are one of the most well-researched supplements on the market. We know that they have wide-ranging health benefits, and that's been repeatedly proven. We also know that they are essential. The body can't make these fatty acids, so we have to get them either from the fish or from uh, plants that mm. the fish eat So uh, and, and other plants. So the fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids are essential and uh, there are studies that have shown uh, omega-3 fatty acids uh, actually prevent prostate cancer from spreading and in another study it was shown that foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids are associated with a 63% reduction in prostate cancer specific mortality. So uh, that's uh, emphasising again that there's a correlation here but it's not a causation. Similarly, in this paper, there was a whole lot of confounding factors that were ignored. 80% of the cancer subjects uh, in this study were overweight or obese. And we know from other studies that uh, aggressive prostate cancer is associated with obesity. And another one, again, where men who were overweight or obese increased their risk of prostate cancer by 57%. And that's about the same uh, increase in risk that we saw when uh, the correlation was made with the high levels of the omega-3 fatty acids in the blood. So in my view, uh, I think the omega-3 fatty acids are really good for all of us. Uh, and we shouldn't be alarmed by these headlines that are in in the popular press. Mm, OK. What about some homework? What would you like to chat about next Thursday morning? Another important uh, molecule, this time water and health, because water is essential for us. And I just wanted to make some comments in that area. Thank you. That'll be next Thursday morning. Joining us from the University of Newcastle, Professor Tim Roberts, with thanks to our sponsor, Newcastle City Health Foods. They're on Newcastle Mall for all your vitamins and supplements. 22 minutes past 11. It's 2 in URFM, 103.7.